Yo, yo, what's going on, baby? It is game day, and I'm down in the bayou, down in the Big Easy, baby. Yeah, we got Eagle fans over there. You Eagle fans? All right, good. We got Huda fans. Hey, that's right. We got the big game day today. We got two big games today. And I'm going to be taking your predictions uh, right now while I'm live. We're getting predictions all over the place. And uh, before I give you my predictions and all the great stuff that's going to be happening, guys, I got to give you a little taste. I'm outside Cafe uh, Dumond. Uh, Cafe Dumond is a very, very uh, famous place. But look, the banks of the Mississippi River, I got someone special joining me here on Facebook Live in just a matter of moments. But I had to give you this little taste. Why? Because because uh, I am in the heart of New Orleans. As a matter of fact, uh, when we look at New Orleans, uh, what a great city is. I'm heading to the Superdome in uh, just a few minutes. Maybe I'll bring you over to the Superdome. And uh, here's the deal. I want you to come uh, with me here and I want some predictions. Those of you that make the right prediction for both the Chargers-Patriots game, Chargers-Patriots game, and... Of course, the Fly Eagles Fly versus the Who Dat Nation coming up today. We want to see your predictions. If you get the exact right score and uh, you predict what team wins, well, guess what? Then you are going to win something really, really special. And yes, I do have a very special guest joining me in just a matter of minutes. Uh, it's going to be a fun time. Uh, th this guy, uh, well, I'm not even going to tell you yet. Just, just hang tight. So let me start to see a little hashtag contagiasms. I'm giving away the gray hoodie. I got to give away a gray hoodie today. I have to. I'm in New Orleans. Who Dats uh, are in the house everywhere I go. We are giving away a wow book. We're giving away, of course, a Carnison swag bag. As a matter of fact, what would it be without a little Carnison in your system? Today's TD Live football analyst show is brought to you by my friends from Carnison. Yes, it is. That's right. That's why I'm going deep into discussion and analysts, and I brought one of the best analysts I know personally uh, here today. So here's the deal as we go deep. Uh, I want to see your predictions. I want to see who's going to win, and here's what's happening. Uh, I just talked about Carnison. We just worked out. We worked out this morning. You have to get the workout in before the games get going. Here's the deal with Carnison. Guys, all my athletes take it. I've taken it for many, many years. And Carnison, when you look at uh, performance enhancement, you look at buffering lactic acid. Lactic acid, no good. We don't want lactic acid in our systems. Uh, we want to make sure that we're strong. We buffer out and get the endurance up on that. Carnison, it is banned substance free. Always important. It doesn't matter if you're an NFL athlete, you're a fitness enthusiast, we can work. If you want your best results, Carnison is going to help you. And you're like, well, what is Carnison? Where do I get it? Guys, go to today.carnison.com. I'll pin it here uh, later on. Pin it here in the uh, the comments section. And you can go to today.carnison.com uh, site. Go to the find it in the upper right-hand corner and do that. Those of you that are asking about my surgery, thank you very much. I'm seeing those comments coming through. Uh, I took the Carnison beta alanine all the way through my uh, surgical process, all the way through recovery. Still doing that. Um, what, it, what it's always recommended, what I recommend is that mi at least minimum 3.2 grams over a 90-day period. 3.2 grams uh, every day. Okay, that's 90 grams over a 28-day period. So 3.2 grams per day over 90 days, okay, on that. Oh yeah, baby, we got it rocking and rolling. So uh, here's the deal, we got, we got craziness everywhere. Let me make sure I, I got that straight. So when you're doing your Carnison Bay downing, I think got people screaming and all that stuff, uh, 3.2 grams a day, make sure you take that 90 grams total over a 28 day period, a little less than a month, but I do it all the time, even on game day. Even on game day, here outside, you got to do that stuff. So, guys, any questions on training, on performance, on nutrition, on supplementation, I always give my friends from Carnison a shout-out uh, for all they do uh, here from the Bayou, baby. So, let's see those comments coming. Let's see the suggestions coming. Let's see your predictions coming. And, uh, guys, in just a matter of hours, we're going to be in the craziness of the Superdome down here in New Orleans. And uh, Drew Brees... Darren Sproles, uh, Zach Ertz, Golden Tate, uh, Michael Thomas. These are all guys I train on a regular basis, and they're squaring off each other. So I want to see uh, who you think's going to win. Chopper style, baby. <laughs> yeah, Jen Lermont, Matt Smith, enjoy the game. Should be a great one, no doubt about it. I see Saints 35, Eagles 24. The Houdats are in the house. The Houdats are representing. I'm going to bring you over to the Cafe Dumont here and take a look inside Cafe Dumont. And uh, here's the deal. As I give away all these great products, you got to make sure that you are giving me a hashtag get your mind right. And I want to see your predictions. Don't forget, as always, I want you to share. I want you to share this uh, Facebook Live I'm doing right now. We call it TDTV from the Bayou. Okay? It's the battle of the, in the Bayou here. 
on that. And we got Houdat fans everywhere. Let's take a look inside Cafe Dumont. Shh, don't tell him. And I'm going to get my, my special analyst here. I'm trying to uh, corral over at the Superdome. Oh, yeah, baby, let's go. Who that? We got the Who Dat Nation in the house. Look at these, these folks right here. Oh, yeah. Who that? You that? Who that? We got the Who Dats getting after it. We got Who Dats everywhere. We got any Fly Eagle Fly fans everywhere, too. It's a little crazy down here. Uh, but here's the deal. We got the Chargers. Chargers. The Chargers from Los Angeles. Just so you guys can see a little bit, Cafe Dumont. Uh, world famous Cafe Dumont, guys, uh, right here. My dad's childhood nickname is Bolts. Yeah, Kim, I love that. Carol Brown, what's going on? Yeah. Hey, this is crazy down here uh, at Cafe Dumont outside here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We, we got Eagle fans and that fans. What do we got going on? What is, oh, they got no fan. I, got, I see a Patriots hat. We got no fans. We got a Patriots fan or what? Patriots fan. They're quiet over here. Patriots fans are quiet. You better pick up the Chargers. They're coming to whoop some tail today now. You better bring, it, bring the heat, baby. You can talk a little smack. Never hurt anybody, right? Hey, so here's the deal, guys. I'm sure you will watch that game. You better believe it. You better watch that game. Because the bayou is rocking, guys. Oh, yeah. Hey, this is what it's all about in the bayou right now, okay? It's a little crazy. Win, what's going on, baby? Who that's? Go Saints. We got a lot of Saints fans in the house. Uh, a lot of Saints fans here. But I'm going to give you my prediction, what's going to happen today, why I know. And uh, go ahead, go ahead. You're, you're fine. Good. Here, let me give you a little... little Where you at? Who that? Who that, who that? Where you at? Where's the who that fans? Where my eagle fans at? Where my eagle fans? No eagle fans. There's no eagle fans. Where my who that's at? Who that? Oh, there you go. Who where's the who that? Who that? Hey, there's a 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 Oh wait, Eagle fans? Yo, oh, who that? There you go, there you go, there you go. Eagle fans are awfully quiet. Hey, if you're from Philly right now, y'all a little quiet. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Where's that coming from? Where's that coming from? Where's that? Where's the E-L-G-L-E-S, Eagles? Read it and weep, baby. Read it and weep, baby. Read it and weep, baby. You you may find out some other time. You may find out some other time. Are you a Spoles fan? Huh? You a Spoles fan? Yeah, I am. All right. Who's your guy on the team? Who do you like? Shit. I got to go with Foles right now. He's right. We're riding it. We're riding it out. We got to ride it out. He's the one that's making it happen for us over and over and over again. Yep, 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 yep. All right, so we got to go with it. Philly. Philly. Born and raised. Right. From high Columbia. school buddies. Original Philly people. What, what high school? Central High. Central class high. of 250. Two, all right. Well, you, you a Zach Ertz fan? Oh, of course. We wouldn't be here without him. Oh, go, Ertz. We wouldn't be here without him. Ertz, go, we wouldn't be here without him. All right, all right. What's your prediction for the game, fellas? Uh, 24 21 Eagles. Eagles? Yes, sir. You're going for the Eagles? Yes, sir. All right. 30 to 10 Eagles. 30 to 10 Eagles? Oh, 27 24 and a nail biter. And. Birds, baby. Go birds. <laughs> so you, all you go for the Eagles, huh? No doubt, no doubt. Of course. Well, I, I assume you're going for one of those rinks again? Got to get it. All right, all right. Keep it up. Got to play the win. We got, we got three Eagles fans in here. No other Eagles fans. Thanks, fellas. Go ahead now. No, no other, any other Eagles fans? Ever, who that's? Where you at? Who that? Oh, yeah. Who that? All right, all right. We got, yeah, got some Wait, what was it? 48? Oh, trash over hey, there. We're, we're in Cafe <laughs> Dumont. We're in Cafe Dumont. Causing no ruckus. That's what it takes right there is a <laughs> turkey's getting after it. Hey, I'm in Cavie Dumont and I'm causing a ruckus here. Probably gonna get kicked out soon. But we got three Eagles fans. That's it. Three Eagles fans. That's it. We got a who that? And the Patriots fans. Yeah, we got our token Patriots fans. You should put that cover over your head. You're a Patriots fan right there. <laughs> you like that? All right, we got a Drew Brees fan right there too. 34-17 Saints. 34-17. 34-17. Why? 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 Who, who's gonna? Who? I predict that. Oh, my man Drew Brees taking off. He working in the morning. He'll be working in the afternoon, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, this place is rocking down here. We got we got Saints fans. Saints fans. Saints fans. Saints fans. All right. We got no Eagles fans. Hey, Philly, Jersey, Yate representing down here. Where y'all at? Ertie, Sprosey, Folsey, Golden. They they need some help down here, man. They need some help. Hey, we're gonna keep this party rolling. Good job, fellas. Good job. Hey, keep it work. Who that? Hey, that's what it takes. You go inside Cafe Du Monde and you cause a little stir. We got three Eagles fans happening. And uh, now I need to talk about football. I need to give you my prediction. You heard it here first. I I'm seeing these predictions come through. I want all your predictions coming through. Uh, yeah, hey, and if you got questions on anything, these guys, here's the deal real quick. 
when it comes to training, when it comes to performance. I've been training uh, Drew Brees for 16 years, Darren Sproles for 11 years. Those guys have been training together for 11 years, guys, uh, together. And uh, it's, been, it's been fun to not only prepare those guys over that period of time, but in, in today when I'm sitting over in the stadium and uh, watching my guys go at it, many of you be like, hey, TD, who are you going for? You got the Saints or you got the, or you, or you got the Eagles? Well, uh, I tell you, I, I, I'm going to tell you here in a second who I got. I'm going to tell you the prediction. I know the score. I've talked to all my guys on that stuff. But first, I need to bring a, a very special person in. I promised you I'd bring someone special in. And uh, guys, this guy has been in the huddle with Breeze since he's been in diapers. Since he's been in diapers. And uh, guys, the special, the special guest analyst today is my son, Luke Durkin. Now, Luke, Luke has been fired up to, to go on Facebook today to give his predictions. Let's talk about this. Uh, guys, I need, I need some comments coming through. I got all my predictions coming through. Luke, let's go over to Foxborough, Massachusetts first. We've got uh, the, the, the Chargers from Los Angeles. Los Angeles going over to New England to see Tom Brady, Bill Belichick, and the crew. What, what's your what's your thought process on that game? You know, I think the Chargers, they're a lot better team than they have been in the past, and it's the first time they made the playoffs in a few years. Uh-huh. But I think going to Foxborough against Tom Brady, the second best quarterback of all time, I think I, I don't think he's gonna be able, I don't think Phillip Rivers is gonna be able to hang. He has never beaten him before. So I got I got the Wait, 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 wait. You said second wait, let's not even go to the score. You said second best. Are you are you talking about Peyton Manning is the first? No, D V nine. Oh D V nine is the first! The kid's been in the huddle with DB9 since he's been in diapers. Before he was even a, when he was a thought process right here, he was in the, in the huddle with DB9. He just said that Tom Brady, the second best quarterback of all time, Peyton Manning being third. We have any Houdat fans in the house? Oh, all right, all right, all right. They're a little here quiet. We go. All right, here we go. Now we're talking. Houdat, baby. Oh, now we're talking. Now we're talking. Ain't so, no doubt about it. Yeah, baby. <laughs> so. So back to, back to Luke here. You, you were given the score. You talked about Phillip Rivers and the, the defense. The defense of San Diego, I mean Los Angeles, uh, uh, is a very good defense on this. So we'll, let's make the prediction. Foxborough, Massachusetts. It ain't Los Angeles. It ain't San Diego. It's not going to be sunny in six degrees. It's going to be a bone chilling, I don't even know what, 30 degrees? <laughs> so what's your prediction, let's Luke? 28-24 Patriots. Yeah. Whoa! 28-24. You're going against the Chargers? Yeah, have to. I didn't even know that. He's going against the Chargers. He's going with Tom Brady, the second best quarterback of all time. Now let's come on over to the Bayou. Here we are in New Orleans, and uh, we've got we got something very special here today, guys. I'm seeing a lot of lot of fans piping on in. Coach Brady, what's happening? You got Chargers 24-20, Coach Brady, uh, on this stuff. So uh, as we as we walk around here, I got to show you the church over here because it is Sunday morning. We gotta we gotta go to church and and. Uh, we got who that's who that fans right uh, all right all right my man it would take what's this guy's name uh, i don't know this one in the front brown sugar brown sugar brown sugar he is he an eagles fan or a chargers fan I, or saints is he a, fan. he's a saints fan all right saints. makes sense all right all right all right this guy's brown sugar yeah. let's ask brown sugar what he thinks of today's game yo brownie hey big brown brown sugar let me let me ask you a question here buddy okay you got who do you have you have the saints today do you have the Saints today, or do you have the Eagles? Now, if you like the Saints, blink your eyes one time. If you like the Eagles, don't blink your eyes. Okay, it's going to... Oh, he blinked his eyes! But what's his name, Big Brown? Brown Sugar. Brown Sugar's going with the Saints. He knows who feeds him. He's down in here in the, in the Houdat land. That's it. Thank you, my friend. Hey, we got Houdat fans everywhere. We still got our guest analyst, Luke Durkin, in the house today. Wait, where my who dat's at? Who dat? We got who dat fans. Go, I have who no dat? eagle fans. Who dat's in the house? Who dat? Why who the who dat's gonna win? Why, why the why the who dat's gonna win? Why why they gonna win? Gonna win? Why? win? Because Drew Brees performed well. Where are you from? Natchitoches. Where? Natchitoches, Louisiana. Tell my friends over here on Facebook where that's at. That's between Shreveport and Alexandria. It's about four hours from here. Four hours. You yeah. drove over today? Oh yeah. No, I drove last night. Thank All right. Got the Leon. All right. Well, go, go, who dads, baby? Who dads? Who dads? Who dads? A lot of who dads fans out here. Not a lot of fly eagle fly fans. But uh, hey, I answered five years yes! ago. Yes. What's your I name again? Dalton, man. What's Dalton? Up? Yes. Dalton Hunter. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, former I intern. I gotta Fitness find him. I gotta find him. Former intern hey. at Fitness Quest and Dalton Hunter. I just got married last night. You, you kidding me? No. No, he did. Hey, 
What? Yep. Yeah. You got married last night. I got married last yeah. night. Where? Huh? Here. Here. Here, and yep. you're here walking around. And I found you. What? <laughs> That's an all time Who bird. Who does? Oh my gosh. So this guy gets married last night. He's here on his honeymoon. What are you doing up already at 11 o'clock? I interned five years ago. I won the best gems. Man. No way. Yep. Dude, Dalton the baby. Hunter. I got it. Five years. I still remember this guy. That's how great he is. Hunter Training Systems Hunter, in New Orleans. In in New Orleans. Yep. Here he is. He still has to come to my gym one day. He hasn't made it yet. Well, let's go right now and get a little arm farm in, baby. I saw you this morning. I saw you pumping it up. You saw. You saw. I, Luke. I, I, I had well, to do a couple push-ups. So introduce in the room. your new your new wife. This is my beautiful wife, Ashley Rodriguez. Hi. Wow. Yeah. Tell me about the the wedding. Huh? Amazing. They got married Amazing, last night, man. and here they are. They yeah. hunted me. So you hunted me down. He and heard your voice. And I he's said, like, there he is. That is Todd Durkin. We I are saw going the live. The I said, I got to go. I got to go. We have to go. Yep. So I was like, hurry. Small world, Mark Hill saying congratulations. Yeah. So now we got folks saying congratulations to the new Hunter family. Hunter training system down here in New Orleans. He came over here. Dalton did. He heard me. Who that's where you at? Woo! Who that's there to go to beat them? Say, who that? Who that? <laughs> So, so there we have. It. We got some fired up football fans. We're gonna keep the, the live show. And you gonna hang out for a little bit? I, I got yeah. I want or are you gonna take off? With you. Oh, we gotta oh, take it. Here, let's get a picture. Here, Luke, start giving some analysis uh, on today's game. Don't give scores yet. I'm gonna get a quick photo Don't here score. with Don. Yeah, here we go. Start talking. Make sure you, get, you see it. Make sure you see it. Here we go. All right, for the next game, we got the Saints and the Eagles. And last time it was a blood. It was like 48, 10, 48 something the uh, Saints. I think this time it's gonna be a little bit closer from Nick Foles. I think he's better than Carson Wentz. But still, I got the Saints. I got the Saints winning this game, especially at the Dome. No one beats the Saints at the Dome. So, yeah, I'll give you my score in a little bit. Oh, the score's coming up in a little bit. So, guys, man, we got we got newlyweds going on around here. Let's go, come on, come on, let's go. We're taking us on a little tour here. We're going to the chapel. We're going to the chapel, and we're going to get married. By the way, this was completely unplanned. I did not know Dalton Hunter was coming uh, in the house. I love when we got people from Facebook crashing our party uh, on a great day. So, guys, Luke just gave you his analysis, and uh, he, he gave you his thoughts. But here's the deal. Guys, I told you I've been training Drew Brees for 16 years, Darren Spoles for 11 years together these guys have been grinding take a look at my instagram post uh and facebook post yesterday uh espn did a great write-up on uh, some of the things that we do in our sessions and um on instagram today i asked for your prediction so make sure you hop over there and predict what you think the game is going to be but also um you know what i, I tell you yesterday i was thinking about this and I'm gonna, i know i'm going to do this today in the stadium is uh just how grateful i am uh to see these guys going at it number one they're great athletes they train their butts off they are true professionals they do it the right way all the time for as long as i've known them they show up on time they do things the right way they're they're focused um they want to be great they want to be the best whatever you say they do and that's both drew and darren as well as ertzy and and golden and and the guys i work with uh, always striving to be great um on that so hey take a take a look at this uh this is the year for breeze going all the way kathy ryan julie what's up julie uh we got we got oh yeah we got people crashing the party hey, we got oh yeah saints fan or eagles fan Saints. Saints fan. We got Saints fans everywhere. Well, no Eagles fans. Eagles fans are probably still hung over from last night because the quarter was going nuts. So all you Eagle fans better wake it up because you're a little sleepy, sleepy right now. You need to get the sleepies out of your eyes. Take a look. Dalton, you've been a long time uh, guy here Who in New Orleans. What we got here? Tell me, tell me, give oh, me a little beautiful hit. St. Louis Cathedral. The St. Louis Cathedral. What goes on in there? Uh, a lot of big masses, a lot of weddings. One of the oldest churches in New Orleans. Mm -hmm. Very famous. Okay. Now, you did not get married in there, did you? No, no, no Okay. But I've been in here uh, several times. There's there's masses going on all the time, and uh, it's awesome. It's an awesome place. I want to give you a little glimpse here uh, before we shut it down. I give you my predictions for today. I think what's going to happen um, on this stuff. Uh, on this, do we got any questions? Susan, what's happening, baby? I love it. Nantucket's in the house. Hey, the Nantucket. You must be uh, getting ready for the Patriots fan. Are you a converted New England Patriots fan? Uh, Luke already said. Luke already said he thinks the the Patriots are gonna uh, are gonna take the Chargers. I'll tell you what I think in just a matter of mere moments here. So cool you get to see a lot of your guys play at the highest level. Uh, Matthew, you know what? It really is awesome. Uh, today is going to be special. I, <laughs> I, always, I always pull for my guys and uh, made the best team win. But I'll tell you what, uh, both these guys are, are you know, are, don't have a lot of time left. Um, I mean, Drew's only got another 10 years and Darren's only got another five years uh, left. 
Uh, so uh, you always have to appreciate these moments on that. Let's go Bolts. Tell Luke he needs to get his mind right. Tristan saying, get your mind right. Tristan said to my man, hey, you get your mind right, Tristan. Wake it up, baby. Go Pats. We got a lot of Pats fans on this today. Uh, we got questions. Maria, worldwide impact, no doubt about it. I love, by the way, oh, wait, I see. I spot, I spot an Eagles fan. I spy an Eagles fan over here. Are you an Eagles fan or are you just wearing that for fun? No, I'm a fan. You're a fan. Where are you from? Uh, Texas. Texas? Wait, the Cowboys lost last night. They did. Yeah. They come did. here, come here, come it's here. I need, a, I need a little interview with you. Okay, we got one Eagles fan. There's no other Eagles fan, so what's your name? Jordan. Jordan, where are you from? Where in Texas? Uh, Houston area. Houston. How does the guy from Houston, Texas become an Eagles fan? Because uh, my dad hates the Cowboys. So, he so, he like <laughs> so your dad hates the Cowboys, so he became an Eagles fan. Yeah. All right. Who's your favorite player for the Eagles? Uh, Carson Wentz. Carson, Carson Wentz? Yeah. What about Nick Foles? You're, I mean, he's a Texas guy. Huh? Nick Foles Still, is a Texas guy. Carson Wentz, man, I like the way he like handles religion and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. And then like, how about it? Are you are, are you a Sproles and, and and Zach Ertz fan? Yeah, I I think like Ron and Westbrook the most when it comes to running back. So Westbrook, way back in the day. Minutes, Westbrook. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. All right. Well, best of luck to you today. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. We got a converted like Texans fan now, and now he's an Eagles fan because his dad didn't didn't like hey, you know. Todd, yes. One more picture, man. We got one more, one more picture, out, baby. Bro. All right, here we go. We got one more picture, guys. Take a picture with me. Here we go. <laughs> Love it. You, yeah. Hey, Don, one great day, to see you, man. One day you coming to my gym. I'm coming. Okay. I'm coming. I'm coming. Hey, 15 I'm proud minutes of you, away. I'm proud of you, away. man. Thank you. And most importantly, congratulations to both Thank of you guys. You. Thank you. What a day. And you guys came uh, out on the day after the wedding, guys. And I seen Todd Durkin. Oh, my God. Get your mind right. Yeah. Get your mind right, baby. <laughs> that is awesome. Congrats, Thank man. You, congratulations. Okay. Congratulations. Great to meet you. Nice to meet nice you, man. Love it. Love it. Guys, that's what makes the world go round here outside in New Orleans. And uh, we got the newlyweds. Hey. Woo! Who that? Hey. You go get some rest now. Go back to the hotel. Get some rest. Y'all yeah. <laughs> <laughs> have fun. Hey, thanks, Dalton. Keep up the great work, Thank man. You, Keep up the great work. Thank you. Man, I love that right there. A fire-breathing dragon sought me out the night after his wedding. Are you kidding me? God, that fires me up, man. It fires me up to know that he must have seen that we were doing a Facebook Live. And uh, he gets married last night, and here he is in the heart of, of New Orleans uh, doing this stuff. You got this, Mark. What's up, baby? Dalton is awesome. Jen Lermont says hello, Dalton. We got shout outs all over the place. Oh, yeah. So uh, let's see. I, I, guys, I got to be honest with you. As I give you my final announcement, what's going to happen? There ain't a lot of Eagle fans around here. Not, they're all a little sleeping, all hung over from last night. I was walking, walking. Uh, what's the name of that street, Luke, that you got indoctrinated into yesterday? Bourbon Street. Oh my gosh. Look at the smile on his face. We went like one block of Bourbon Street and had to like get off that thing real quick. Yeah. Who that fan? All right. Who that fan? We got who that fans. All right. All right. All right. So, uh, so here's the deal. Final analysis, and then we're gonna get rock and rolling. We gotta get to the Superdome and, and go see uh, the big game today um, on this. But here's the deal. Number one, <laughs> I didn't know that I was gonna have some fans crash me uh, down here in New Orleans, and it brings me always. It fulfills my heart to, to when I see other coaches and trainers, uh, other fit pros, other fire breathing dragons that uh, that that find me because they hear me uh, from a, from I don't know where they're from, especially on their newlywed night. That's a pretty darn cool thing, and. Um, and uh, today, as we, as we get ready for the game, I'm going to sit down and give you my predictions. Number two, it's all about time. Having time with this guy right here has been awesome. Regardless of what happens in today's game, uh, man, it's been awesome just to spend time with this, this young cat right here. And hearing his predictions uh, kind of make me laugh and make me smile. Um, please make your predictions. What teams are going to win today? Chargers versus Patriots, give me a score. Saints. Eagles, give me a score and uh, what's going to happen. I want to see your analysis here. Again, I shared earlier on today, um, uh, just you know, getting ready to, to go into the stadium, how nostalgic I feel. And uh, when I was telling my team back at Fitness Quest 10, we had a meeting last week. I was with Fitness Quest 10. I was with my team Carnison uh, friends. I said, hey, guys, I'm thinking about going live down here. And um, they said, absolutely, you got to do it. You got to share some of the excitement uh, down here. So if you guys have asked questions, um, I'm going to go back tomorrow on the plane ride and I'll, I'm going to answer a lot of your questions uh, on this. Uh, Satif Islam, watch every NFL live on NFLHDchannel.com. Fantastic. Uh, that's awesome. You guys are you guys are just hitting it up. Coach Wolf, thank Brown Sugar. I know where to put the money. Hey, 
Animals always have a little ESP. They know what's happening, Coach. Uh, hope all is well, Waz. Please give your dad a big hug. Coach uh, Warren Wolf, one of the greatest mentors in my life. Um, I saw a picture of Coach Wolf. When was that, on the plane I was showing you? On the plane ride down here, showing the young man, uh, Coach Wolf, who's 90 years old now and doing amazing things still. Um, and to see the impact that guy has had on so many people. Uh, Dave Isaacson, who's this nut? Are you talking about me, Isaacson, or are you talking about that guy? Okay, young nut. Okay, young nut was in the gym today. He was trying to outwork me. I, Dad's always got to show him that. Hey, hey, get your mind right, young boy. Get your get your mind right. So uh, Drew all the way. I got a lot of Huda fans on this stuff. Love seeing Breeze lead the sweet pregame huddle. Uh, yeah, that's what. That's why we do it, baby. That's why we do the huddle. Ilko, Drew's day. Mark Kelly uh, on this. Guys, if you have any questions on anything today's game, uh, on training, nutrition, supplementation, recovery, mindset, uh, that's what I work on with these guys all the time on that. We got a lot of people. Your, your guy, Luke Tierfelder, down in the Carolinas, agreed on the, on the, on the pick so far. Now, did you give, did you give your, uh, your, your Saints prediction yet or no? No, I just gave the analysis. All right, so here it comes, guys. You've been waiting. You've been, you've been waiting for this long and hard. I'm seeing a lot of these predictions. Don't forget, in order to win prizes, you can't just give one score. You got to give both scores and have the correct score. So I need to see the Chargers from Los Angeles and, uh, they're playing the Pats from New England and the Eagles coming down here. And uh, I can't wait to give the guys a big hug after the game. That's for darn sure. But I'm seeing this. Thanks. Great energy, TD. Always, always, always. Coach Omar. Contagious. has him in the cafe. Yeah, I did. They're probably searching for me right now down here in New Orleans. New Orleans PD probably looking for me. I went literally into Cafe Dumont and took it over. I found three Eagles fans. Three. Eagles fans, y'all you, you, are not representing down here. Y'all better. Well, I know you're all sleeping still, so wake your little booties up. Here we go with my predictions for today uh, <laughs> on the Yingling. All right, Luke, you go first. We got today. Uh, what do you got going on Saints, today? Saints, Eagles. I got 38-17 Saints. 38-17 Saints. You heard it. You heard it there. Guys, here's the deal. My prediction for today's game in the Superdome, 80,000 screaming people, plus two right here, going absolutely berserk for today's game. Number nine. Number nine, DB9 is going to throw three touchdown passes, and he's going to go over the top with his vintage quarterback sneak. Look for the impact band as he goes over top. Drew representing that impact band all the time as he goes over there, right there. Uh, so he's going to account for four touchdowns. My man, Darren Sproles. Darren Sproles is going to have one rushing touchdown one receiving touchdown, and he's going to shock the Saints with one punt return for a touchdown. Sprolsey, I love you, brother. Let's make magic happen today. Ertzy, one touchdown, eight catches. Woo, Ertzy going off after a record-setting year, and GT, Mr. Golden Tate, who had last week's game-winning touchdown, he's going to account for one touchdown as well. Now, there's other factors in the game. There's a guy named Michael Thomas, Michael Hitman Thomas, like Michael Hitman Hearns. Remember Michael, or was that Thomas Hearns? That was Thomas Hearns. Michael Hitman Thomas. <laughs> Michael Hitman Thomas, I call him MT. Uh, he's going to count for a big game. And of course, that running back, not number 43, the one on the same size, for, uh, side 41, Alvin Kamara. Uh, guys, he is a force to be reckoned with. Here's the final prediction. I'm going to wrap this bad boy up. Again, share this. Make sure you uh, make sure you give some contagiasm here. Hashtag get your mind right, whatever it takes. Thank you to my friends over at Carnison for getting me on this line today and making sure I've got great connectivity. Whenever I train, I make sure I get that mind right, I get that body right, I get that soul right. And Carnison, you're part of the game plan. Thank you very much. I got all my stuff pinned. Again, you can find that over on the uh, today.carnison.com site. It's pinned here. Go to find it and then go pick up one of the brands I always use. It's either Gym Brand, Inner Armor, or even Cage Muscle. Those are the three brands I typically use for all my pre-workout stuff uh, on that. You can find it there. Again, go to find it, doc, uh, find it on the today.carnison.com website. And uh, again, thank you for all of you joining me on a Sunday morning as you wake up uh, here. My prediction... 45-42 Fitness Quest 10 wins. I love you guys.